Salute, salute. Salute to God, most high, higher power, creator of everything, my justice system, my peace, my redeemer, my father. Salute to the ancestors. Salute to America. Salute to the UK. Salute to all the independent viewers whom at this time I'm going to please ask out of sheer generosity that you find it in your woken heart to hit that subscribe button and become a part of the Uncut Squad. It is ultimate, ultimately the number of subscribers slash subscriptions that we have that helps these platforms grow. And I'm a long way from a thousand, fam. All right. Ladies, thank you for your views. I appreciate it. Please remember to like and share these videos as well. Wait for it. Wait for it. One time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One time. One time for the Uncut Squad, baby. One time for the Uncut Squad. Y'all know how we do what we do. Cause that's how we do it. Listen. God can take a situation and add so much <clears throat> clarity and so much understanding to it that it's almost like you still won't comprehend. It's unbelievable. It's amazing. Okay. Most fathers hate child support because either A, they pay child support and the mothers still keep the children away, okay? Or B, you're paying child support and the mother never allows the money to actually benefit the child, but it benefits her instead. You know, I, I, I share it with you guys the death of the mother of one of my children. And I was talking to my 21-year-old stepdaughter. And, you know, she was telling me how hard things were getting financially and, you know, the situation they were in. And in an instant, I thought, you know, well, can you find your mom's child support card? And she goes, oh, I never thought about that. Let me look. And she finds it. And she goes, I found it. I say, well, there should be money on there from me. Um, feel free to use that money for whatever you need to use it for. Because it was meant to help children. It's child support. There's no one there to stand in your way of you receiving these benefits and using them appropriately and approximately how you need to now. And I'm not justifying anyone's death. I'm justifying how something you hate the most, something you despise the most can turn around to be something so gracious and so gifted and so essential to someone else. What do I mean? I hated child support. But after that baby told me that she found that money on that car, and after that baby told me, well, I don't know how we're going to pay next month's rent or I don't know how we're going to make, you know, this, this payment on this automobile. Well, baby, God works in mysterious ways. Check that child support card. And you know what? I'm not even going to fight the child support. I could probably go down there and have the child support stop now that she's in eternal rest. But why am I going to do that? When God has already moved in a situation for these children to be able to receive these funds to get by in the darkest and most tragic of moments right now. So understand my job as a child of God. Understand my job when I tell you I live and lead 
a spiritual journey, a spiritual movement. I'm going to do what's right. I'm going to do what's best. I hated paying her child support. I love paying my children child support because now they can actually use this themselves to get by. They can use it themselves to survive. In the midst of a crisis, God always shows himself. And you never know how you're going to be called into that spiritual battle. But it's important that you put on your full armor and you take your part on those front lines. And you are willing to fight. You are willing to obey. You are willing to be patient. You are willing to persevere. You are willing to understand. You are willing to be reshaped, as the Bible would say. We're like, like clay that has to be molded, you know? You allow God to reshape you, remold you. So instead of me going down here and turning off this child support, for what? For what? I work, I enjoy getting out of house. That's just gonna give me a reason to work now. Now I enjoy paying that child support when I don't have to because I know that they're surviving. And I know that I am the last piece that this baby has in this world. So I have a job to do. And I have a role to fill. And I have a journey to complete. And through the grace of God, look how that worked out. And there'll be more money on that car for that baby next month. Well, next week next week you know god works in mysterious ways kiki baby i'm sorry about your loss but when i told you i'll always be there and i got you i got you the words of michael jackson baby you are not alone god got you i got you all right y'all just want to have a moment with y'all man this thing gets deep Y'all get your one-on-one. -on -one. Let me do this the right way. Let me do this the right way. All right? Remember, get your one-on-one. -on -one. Get your one-on-one. -on -one. Get your one-on-one -on -one with your higher powers. Choose spirituality over religion. Choose spirituality over religion. Okay? Stay prayed up. Stay blessed up. Stay protected. Stay meditated up. Stay real, stay woke, stay uncut, be inspired, be great, be you. And man, just what you go through in life should automatically reshape your understanding and your response. In your darkest moments, focus on the positive triumph. There's something positive about every negative. But it's up to you to allow God to lead you to that point of understanding. Ashe.